Hey gang, welcome to another episode of White Spider Wednesday. We are going to be doing a really cool unveiling here. Uh, this is a product that I've been wanting to get for quite some time. Uh, it's called an acrylic print and uh, it showed up oh, a couple weeks ago. I've been kind of waiting to open it. And uh, so without further ado, here we go. It is boxed very well. They even have special instructions on how to open it. So. We're gonna go for that and follow the instructions carefully and uh, let's see what we got. So I think we've got it all cut and we're going to pop these two boxes apart, these two different pieces, and uh, let's see what we got. Stainless steel posts, lazy dog, <laughs> carrot installation, we'll need that later. Again, these are acrylics, um, very different from other stuff that I've gotten. These are metal, canvas off to the side here. I've done framed metallic paper prints. Um, but this is something I really want to purchase and uh, have here because I've had some clients asking me about them. So I figured I better get one for myself. from summer of 2020 over the lake and uh, as you can see there's a really thick acrylic on here I think this is I went with a quarter inch you can get different sizes um, it's metal base with an acrylic over top that's pretty wild and then I got the um, uh, it is the non glare surface so it really should work in any lighting uh, but we're going to get this puppy installed. So let's go. Hey gang, so here we are. We're going to mount this. And right now I've got a couple of metallic print uh, in frames. And uh, I'm going to take these down. And I got my handy laser level. Got my drill. We're ready to rock. So let's, uh, let's start this process. So we're going to take these down. I'll show you these really quick. These are, uh, let's see if I can get a good angle. So these are metal, metallic paper, and you can see the sheen in the paper. These are pretty cool, but I'm gonna relocate these someplace else. There's this one. Pretty cool. All right. So we got a couple of monkey hooks here that I used for those. We're going to pull those out. These are great, by the way, for metal prints, canvas prints, 
These things rock. Um, great for drywall. Just poke them in. Man, they're awesome. I always keep a handful of these around. All right, so first thing we got to do is let's get this leveled. good right there. I'm thinking that's probably pretty good. Alright. Grab a pencil. Okay, so now we're going to get it set up. I'm going to mark my holes. This is a very different kind of insul installation than metal prints or canvas wraps, which are pretty simple. This requires a little bit more work. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's put some pressure on that. We pre-drilled holes for the posts. Which makes it nice and easy. Alright. So now we want to drill. Okay, so we've got everything where we want it. Got our marks. Let's go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and make these, just screw them in so I can put the anchors in. Try to get as dead center as possible. You could use a, uh, a pilot drill bit, mine are downstairs and I don't feel like getting them so I'm just going to do it this way. Works just the same. Sort of. Drill bits are better. get our anchors all right so we got our holes we're gonna do our little anchors good for drywall and I'm just gonna kind of knock these in here Anchors are in place. Up next, let's get it mounted. Okay, so we've got our 
mounts or uh, anchors all in place. Next up is the stainless posts. And these are gonna go mounted onto the wall. So these actually unscrew. Let me hold the screwdriver. So these will unscrew. We don't need the caps right now. That's gonna be the cap. Show it that way. But we're gonna take these and grab a screw. So we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna get these started. And then maybe I'll use, well, maybe I'll just do a hand. I'll do it by hand. It won't take that long. Maybe it will take that long. All right. Make sure they're nice and snug. You don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I did speed up the process a little bit using the hand drill. Got them in to the point where they were snug. These are in there really good now. So the next step is to mount this onto the posts. Uh, and you just kind of, well, okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. You need to. So two people's probably a little bit better for something like this. But I'm gonna try and pull this off by myself. This isn't super heavy. and reach for one. <laughs> That's not going to work. All right. Let's just dangle that for a second. Okay. And once we get this other one in, the rest will be easy. Put one down here. Okay, so I finally got them all in place. The, um, <clears throat> my measurements were just a little bit off, so I had to kind of force it a little bit. Um, so do make sure that your measurements are perfect. Uh, but it wasn't too bad. It actually worked out pretty good because it, it made it really nice and snug. It's, it's not going anywhere. So the last thing to do, nice microfiber cloth. It's just kind of wipe things down a little bit. And this is all you got to use for these kind of prints. Um, and, and metal prints, just a microfiber cloth. If you have to use a little bit of water, that's okay, but don't use any chemicals. And uh, she's good to go. Awesome. Have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them. Hope this is helpful, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.